We've got some developer messages. Volume 3, version 1.1 preview. Oh, that's that goes loud. Okay, hold up. I need to maintain the volume. So yeah, they're giving us a preview for 1.1. I still hope they do like a live stream type of thing, but this is also really helpful. So we're going to read all of it and make sure we understand all of it. Dear Rover, to give you a sneak peek into what we have in store for you in the future, updates will share the latest adjustments, optimizations, and okay, great. Thaw of Eons is right around the corner. Here is what to expect in the new region. Ecosystem, very important. New tuner synthesis, finally. Okay, so this is actually something we uh, desperately need, but basically to kind of recap it, um, we're actually gonna finally be able to synthesize the higher uh, tuners. So basically make sure you don't use your purple or blue ones and and save them so that you can um, synthesize them into the premium gold ones. So that's going to be very helpful to be able to tune more echoes. This is great. Your five star echoes is great. This is great. So now actually buying the purple ones will be good. Save them for 1.1. Easy. So yeah, so now you'll be able to synthesize that finally, but you have to wait till 1.1, which is not too far off. So it's great. Uh, increase unit experience reward for unlocking new echo entries. I better be rewarded with the ones I missed out because I'm mad maxed out with union uh with uh my data bank locked late game content earlier for all players we have introduced union experience reward for unlocking new entries for yeah great additionally we will retrospect rewards for union experience echoes. oh there we go union experience for number of echoes entries you have unlocked during the one point perfect great okay now you answered my question the compensation will be distributed via in-game mail make sure to check your mail to claim the rewards in time there you go that's important for people that are already at db20 Higher cost range for Echoes rewarded for activity points? We've heard your feedback. Okay. Remember the cost or range of Echo rewarded by gaining required activity points and guidebooks to improve your experience. We have removed cost one Echoes. Okay, basically, uh, when we do our daily commissions and you get that 2000 uh, union level experience, you you are given a an Echo. But sometimes you can get a cost one Echo, which is kind of garbage. So now we're only going to be getting cost three and four Echoes, which is great. Data bank level cap raised. Hello? We'll be raised to 21. So they're adding a new level. All Echoes drop will be guaranteed to be a five star rarity so 100% five star rarity you know you will no longer be pulling for purples which is great because 80 20 although great I absolutely rage inside ever so slightly every time I get a purple one I like this uh new fun and mount firmament echo transformation Oh, there's a new echo? Wait, wait. Get ready for and select areas of Mount uh, Firmament. You can now transform into Echo Clang Bang. The echo is called Clang Bang. It looks like that uh, that bomb penguin Pokemon. It, rem it reminds me of that ever so slightly. I don't know why. They look kind of different. All echoes drop. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for more creative echo puzzles and challenges for future updates. This looks like it could be a fun little like, thing. I'm not I'm not opposed to this. Other optimizations. Remove tacit field rewards collection animes. Thank you. I don't really do a lot of tacit fields yet because I'm building characters still, not really farming for echoes, but that 20 second animation really slowed people down. Lowered shell credit cost for echo leveling. Yeah, so basically it'll cost you less monies to level up echoes. So my advice, especially for free to play casuals, don't level up your echoes until 1.1 if you un unless you absolutely must. So that you can Save up on um, credit cost. Simplify the cruise wing challenge. The flying speed of cru oh yes, yes I agree. The cruise wings challenges were the flying thing was a little too fast. It, it really did mess me up. Although I don't really mind it. You just do it two or three times to get used to the speed, and you're fine. So I wasn't really too concerned about that. It did get a little annoying. Like you could never three star it on the first round ever, like ever. Good luck Sparky. Uh, Depths of Elusive Realm content, Dreams of Blaze and Darkness with raised event rewards. Wait, what? New Depths of Elusive Realm, new one event called Dreams of Blaze and Darkness along with new mechanics such as tokens? Tokens. Symphony rank? What's that? And different meme, meme tick? Meme memetic? Tuning available for you to create your own powerful build. Nice. Furthermore, more the total event rewards will be increased to a thousand asteroids. That's 600 away from a pole, a 10 pole. Okay. I mean, Depths of the Elusive Realm is pretty easy. So I think this is pretty generous unless they're making it harder with this system. Create your own powerful build. Does that include like our echoes? 
Interesting. Increased convene item version exchange limit in the item exchange oscillated coral store? Wait, what? You may redeem up to seven of each of the following convene items. Radiant ties, forging ties, lesser ties, and each installment of- Wait, this is an increase from what it was before, right? I think you could only do five and now they've increased it by a bit. Preview of other special events and tweaks mentioned above will also be bringing a bunch of other cool events. Seven day login events coming back. Let's go. Gifts of Celestial Light. The future commission's Lolo campaign. That I don't know what that means. Re future. Okay, so they're just naming all the new events coming in 1.1, which a lot of them don't mean much except for the seven day login. Stay tuned for our official announcement for more event details. Is this like going to be a tweet or are you talking about the special your live stream? Make do a live stream. Map exploration system. Layered map. Due to complexity of version 1.1, new map will you add a layer map feature. I think this is needed already because I feel like the verticality of the current map is actually quite big and I can't find things because the tracker of your quest and stuff isn't good enough. It needs to show me where those holes are because that gets kind of annoying. Uh, due to the volume of work involved in creating a layered map for all areas, layered map for other areas in Gita will be released in future updates. Oh man. I mean, at least you're being open about this. And I do, I, I do understand that this can actually be... Uh, this could take a little bit of time, so that's fine. You're open about it. I'll accept that. After the version 1.1 update, you will be able to track your progress in on exploration quests for the current area via map. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Expanded detection range for loot mapper. I don't know if it really used the loot mapper match, but I guess that's good. So the range is higher, so you don't need to constantly like drop them. So that's fine. Uh, new resonator gallery feature. Wait, what? After version 1.1, you can check all the resonators you have unlocked and their unlocked time in gallery crossing stars. Oh, this is probably going to look like what we do when we look at the echoes in the data bank. That's going to be my guess. Cool. Better be having some cool or otherwise poses. New story dialogue gallery feature. After version 1.5, you can check all dialogues of completed main quests and companions. Oh gosh, just a text? I'm not gonna be doing that on stream. I mean, if it was cutscenes, maybe. I mean, is this their way of fixing the fact that sometimes the dial you don't get to see the full text of dialogue and it misses out on that? Because that was like, ooh, that was a little rough. It's an, yeah, more archival stuff. Level requirements lowered for some main quests. Okay, that's cool. So now this will help prog progression um, happen a lot faster and then you'll be able to get rewards even faster. So that's cool as their stories get more complex. More number and types of guidebook activity points quests. We've heard it from... So with version 1.1, uh, we'll, inc we'll increase the variety of number of daily... Okay. So does it rotate amongst more or are they giving us more options so that we don't repeat the same thing over and over again? I mean, I'm always going to do the daily quest among the other things. New combat style tags. With the version 1.1 update, we're con introducing combat style tags to categorize the combat mechanics of different ro resonators. You better understand each resonator's core combat style. So, support and healer. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I hope they don't mess up. There, now, there's a very reasonable chance that they'll think a character is this way, but not consider other ways of playing that character that could end up being better that the player base have discovered, but we'll see how that goes. New chat system style. You can make chats. Okay, I don't really care about that. The chat will just play uh, at a half screen height after the vert. Wait, what? Okay, I hope there's an easier way to like close it. Controller mode interaction optimization. Add a new camera adjustment setting for the controller mode. Hey, that's me. It's for me. You can now invert the horizontal and vertical camera controls under settings if you want to. Okay, whatever. Uh, change the controller mode shortcut key. Open chat is now open map. I actually like that. I'm going to have to remember that. Enable key remapping. Woo, wait, wait, wait. Enable key remapping for certain buttons on Sony PlayStation controllers, making it consistent with the remapping option available for Xbox. Wait, wait. Am I going to have to like relearn how to play the game with this? I'm, I don't know about that one. For more previews, we truly appreciate your continued attention and support. Yes, uh, make sure you do your surveys because they actually listen. They actually listen. That's actually crazy. Okay, these are great optimizations. I'm looking forward to 1.1 beyond just like the new content, but also all these optimizations that they're doing. Um, they're showing again that they just absolutely listen to us taking our considerations, uh, not listening to everything we say. I'm sure a lot get, they've gotten a lot of it and are just making, taking, tackling the stuff that have been most requested. So I think this is great. This is absolutely baller. Also this penguin thing or this cube thing. That looks like fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Okay. Two last things to take a look at. And that's basically just 
some 1.1 hype this absolutely gorgeous background if shang li did not exist i would absolutely be pulling for a jinshi because she looks like angelic here like surreal um really curious to see more about this i'm just going to call it paimon 2 because i don't know what its name is but this does definitely look like a movie poster like hello like he's the main character sidekick She's like a very important person that we're maybe trying to save or we're guiding uh, to be, I don't know, sacrificed to this dragon or whatever. And then she's like the hottie, but also the villain, even though she's on our set. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm making things up as we go. Um, and last but not least, we have a little bit more information on stuff coming out on June, June 28th. So we saw that new map. Um, I'm very curious how they're going to tackle this because Okay, dragon spine looking uh, mountains ex to a certain extent, but, but most importantly, hot springs. Um, I know these hot springs are going to have healing features for us, but um, who wouldn't want a um, cutscene or two in that? I sure wouldn't mind. Bob Warren, okay, yeah, this. Why is she so fine? Anyways, yeah, there we go. That's about it. So yeah, that's the, those are the updates for Weathering Waves. There you go. What do you think? Are you hyped? I'm getting more hyped for 1.1. Honestly, honestly.